my title here is the director of facilities and you know I'm, I'm in charge of the 22 acres here whether it's outside or inside this is the big dig out here and uh, we're adding a four-story building 180,000 square feet and the hospital has been planning for years we plan on being completed on time with our seismic and it'll take us to 2030 we're, we're currently rerouting uh, as we speak the, uh, the main fire water line and uh, it's approximately 600 feet of reroute pipe that we installed and we're making the final connections to each end now which allows us to complete the excavation. We're running two loaders and about 17 trucks for a total of about 200 loads of dirt leaving the site each day. It'll give us uh, 80 more patient beds and 12 ICU and expand our ED to 52. The parking here at San Antonio during this period of construction will no doubt be uh, challenging on some days and other days it'll be fairly easy. We've done a few things to go ahead and address that. This site wiped out about 200, 250 stalls. So we shifted the physicians to open up 60 stalls for the ED only that are, is right by the door. It was very important for us to monitor and move all the staff to the back side to open up all the front side here. One of the things that we've implemented and people will be seeing soon is our valet parking. Uh, we think the valet parking component is going to do a lot. One, to make it more convenient for our patients and visitors to get their loved ones either into the hospital or visit those that they're here to uh, see. It'll also help facilitate uh, more parking on our campus simply because by doing a valet program, we can compress the number of cars that we have in a specific area. Along with the building and everything else that we're doing here, trying to be as green as possible with our landscaping, our, our drip systems, uh, working with the city, being able to tie into the reclaim water, um, to the products that we use on the roof to reflect the heat, to our equipment running VFDs, which is variable frequency drives. We're about 60 to 70% green on the campus with all the entities that we've looked at. I don't know if people know, but San Antonio, there, we have hit so many milestones. It's just, we've always done things right. Everyone pulls together as a team. I, I push my department to, to try to not only to be green, but to be innovative. What can we do better? How can we change things? What can we do? 